Now I welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to my political analysis for today. Please subscribe and give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this channel. You can also press the notification bell down below so that at least YouTube can automatically update you by sending you the notifications immediately I post a video here. And to my returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much for your continued support. You can reach out to me via the number that you are currently seeing on the screen. Of course, I will have to update you very soon on my social media handles. Now let us go straight into our analysis for today. And yesterday, the Wiper Party leader, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka himself, made a mockery statement on Raila Odinga's uh, losing elections five times consecutively since 1997. And Kalonzo Musioka is telling us that each and every time Raila Odinga loses these elections, he makes a statement uh, blaming on rigging allegations that his votes are being stolen. So let me just read for you and show you on the screen Kalonzo, some parts of Kalonzo Musioka's statement. He's saying that Raila Odinga's votes were stolen in 2013, 2017, and 2022. He has now been reduced to a victim of stolen votes. We even put Martha Karua, but the votes were still stolen. So from the point of my point of view, or the way I understand Kalonzo Musioka's statement here is that Raila Odinga has done everything possible to become the president, but he has actually failed. Raila Odinga also went ahead recently to sideline Kalonzo Musioka so that he can put there Martha Karua as his deputy president, but still he is alleging that his votes were stolen by William Bruto. But in my considered opinion, ladies and gentlemen, it is very hard to convince somebody like me that Raila Odinga's votes are always being stolen. I think Raila Odinga always loses these elections fair and square, and especially the recent 2022 general elections, because Raila Odinga had everything for him to become the president of the Republic of Kenya, but he never made it to the presidency. Raila Odinga, first of all, he had the deep state. You cannot tell me that the deep state, William Ruto had the deep state, yet Uhuru Kenyatta is the person in command, and he had the deep state he had was very powerful supporting Raila Amol Odinga. Each and every institution, the Mount Kenya region tycoons, everywhere people were seeing were singing as the Moja Alliance. But Raila Odinga never made it to the presidency. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, when we look at it on uh, the way it should be, just to be honest on how Raila Odinga loses the elections, First of all, let's talk about Raila Odinga's ethnicity or regional politics. We always say that politics of Kenyans are local. And I want to congratulate President William Samoy Ruto because currently he has moved us from regional politics or regional based politics to economic politics. Currently, as we speak, ladies and gentlemen, there is no one here in Kenya that is talking about that you come from this ethnic group you come from this region, we all talk about the economy. The economy is hard. William Ruto should do this on the economy. And why William Ruto had to win the previous election? He made the issue of economy to be his first or to be his number one priority. That is how William Ruto has made a shift from the regional pol uh, based politics to um, to, to, to our economic uh, politics. But what I'm saying here basically is that Raila Odinga's region, where he comes from, and his strongholds that support him, the numbers does not favor Raila Odinga to win an election. I personally believe that when you capture, if you are a politician vying for the presidency, when you capture the Mount Kenya region very well, then you go ahead and capture the Rift Valley very well, region very well, so that you are assured of these numbers. At least you will get over uh, 60 or 70 percent of the entire votes. Then in other regions here in Kenya, you get at least 20 percent or 30 percent. 
you are being on the safe side to win the election. But Raila Odinga, in all his um, political contest, the Mount Kenya region and the Rift Valley region has always rejected Raila Odinga. So you can clearly tell that he has been losing these elections fair and square when we look at it on the positive side. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about uh, Raila Odinga's history of losing. You know, when you lose consecutively for five times, and actually, if Raila Odinga is preparing to contest in 2027, which I, there's a possibility that Raila Odinga will still stand, your voters will actually get tired of you. Even I had the, the, the voters from the larger Luonyanza region, they were complaining that we have been always voting for Raila Odinga, but he loses these elections. What is the meaning of you waking up very early to go and cast your vote at the polling center, being uh, beaten by cold? Then after that, the person you are voting for each and every election year tells you that his votes is being stolen. Why is it always his votes being stolen? Why can't he come up? Why can't he steal? Because he knows how these people steal his votes. Why can't he apply the same set formula? So people who are voting for Raila Odinga are tired. Voting for him, Raila Odinga going ahead to lose. That is why Raila Odinga always loses these elections fair and square. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, let us talk about the voter apathy. In the recent elections, ladies and gentlemen, majority of people did not come out to vote. And that really affected Raila Amolo Odinga. And I remember the reason as to why the majority of people did not even come out to vote, it was because of the campaign message that Raila Odinga was spreading. You know, the Asimio Nomoja Alliance went ahead to say that they have the deep state, they have everything possible. So they were telling people that Raila Odinga has already won the elections, people like it or not. So people stayed and said that, okay, so you have already won the elections, you have the deep state, then why can't we stay at home so that we watch you win? And that is why when you look at it very clearly, how people voted, is that majority of the voter apathy were, were really affected, Raila, actually really affected Raila Odinga because majority of the voter apathy appeared in Raila Odinga's strongholds. Because many people thought that, okay, they are real supporters of Raila Odinga, but they saw that there's no need for them to go and vote, yet Raila Odinga has the deep state, he has uh, the, 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 the support from the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta. So Raila Odinga has automatically become the president. But on William Ruto's side, the way he was campaigning, he was telling people that, please come out and vote. On the other side of the deep state, I will have to handle that issue because there is no deep state that I don't know. Even if we, they come with a deep state, we have God and the people. You know, those are the kind of messaging that people were being given by the president, William Samuel Ruto. So majority of people saw that, okay, yes, these people, let us go and vote for William Ruto because the other side, they have the deep state. So let us vote in, turn up in huge numbers to go and vote. And then basically, that is how William Ruto won the previous 22 general elections. So it is very hard for me to be convinced that Raila Odinga has always been losing these elections. I personally believe that Raila Odinga has always been... Uh, it is very hard for you to convince me that Raila Odinga's votes are always being stolen. According to my considered opinion, Raila Odinga always loses these elections fair and square because he has never considered defeat. In 2027, if Raila Odinga will also stand or will vie for the presidential seat, he will automatically lose. Then you will hear the same same issues that his votes were stolen by William Ruto because he is the president, you know, and he has that power. That is why he had to steal votes from Raila Odinga. Those are the kind of issues which the supporters of Raila Odinga always get hungry with such statements. I don't know what you think. That was my analysis for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time, but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.